Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to delete multiple selected records from a web grid control using checkbox. And here we got the final output with a button control delete selected records. Let's delete two and four. I have selected delete selected records. See, the records are deleted. I'm deleting the employee ID one channel also. I'm selecting that one, delete select record. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to add a checkbox column to a web grid with a header checkbox control. If you missed that video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. Now in this video, I will show you how to delete the selected records from this web grid. Let's get back to the MVC coding part. Switch to the controller. Come to the bottom. I'm creating a new action result to delete the particular selected employer records. Public action result del selector emp now in this action result i'm adding a string array string the object is emp ids first i'll create a variable of the string array integer data type int array get id is equals to now If employee ID is, is not equals to null, which means I need to select the checkbox controllers, get ID is equals to new integer. In this array, I am adding employee ID is dot length property int j is equals to zero. The int j variable, I'm counting the selected EMP IDs for each string i in EMP IDs. int dot try parse method, which takes two parameters. One is a string, and the second one is the output parameter. The string parameter is the i. I'm adding here i, comma out the output is a get id this one array j plus plus so up to now we have selected the records now let's add the database connections list the table name is the emp detail i'm creating the object emp ids is equals to new list emp detail i'm adding the connection string data context sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities here i'm writing the query to select the records get emp ids which is a list object is equals to sd dot emp details dot where method where clause x column get id dot contains method which take the integer value type so x dot my column name is the employee id which is a eid i'm adding that one dot to list method after that the selected checkbox records i need to delete for each loop variable s in i'm adding this get emp ids object get emp ids object sd dot which is a connection string object employee details dot remove method i'm just removing the selected values which is a s
I'm saving the table as the dot save changes method. So after deleting the records and save the changes in the table, I want to redirect the index view page. So return a redirect to action. The action name is a index. This page. That's it. The coding part in the controller. Switch to the index.cshtml. Now in this index view page, I'm adding a button control after this web grid is to delete the multiple records. Input type is equals to submit. Value is equals to delete selected records. I'm closing the control. Now in this web grid HTML, the header checkbox control, I'm adding the name property. The name property takes the object of this EMP IDs. From this action result, EMP IDs. Copy this one. I'm pasting here. And value is equals to at item dot the employee id column name which is the eid after adding the properties name and value about the delete button control at using html dot begin form method the first object I'm adding the action result method name comma and a second parameter is the controller name our controller name is the EMP controller so I'm adding EMP and the third parameter is a form method type which is a post form method dot post So the closing bracket I'm adding after the web grid. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. But let's check the output. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output with a button control delete selected records. Let's delete 2 and 4. I have selected delete selected records. See, the records are deleted. I'm deleting the employee ID 1 channel also. I'm selecting that one delete selected record. 